could say being picky about some position, head can stay up and a little bit stronger as you're coming down. Because you want to put him on his far butt cheek about every finish in a crackdown, and that just makes that drive a little bit easier. Don't think about anything different like normal high crotch. A head drive through the guy. Next position, what are you struggling with? Shin wizard? Everybody struggles in shin wizard. Let's work on it. Um, I told the last group I wasn't going to show this, kind of what we're working on now, but I'm going to. So uh, here's another thing Schwab kind of came up with, and it was wrestling laser a lot. Uh, another Georgia guy, one of the better scramblers I've ever seen wrestle. Doug wrestled him all the way through college, and this is kind of what he developed to stop a lot of laser's flexibility that he has in his knee and his hip. And it's going to go back to the same principle we talked about before in our crackdown, straightening the guy's leg out. So the reason Shin Wizard works, guys, let me go into a little detail on why this position works. Are you decent in Shin Wizard? Are you okay that way? Okay. So what do you want to do when you're trying to score a single leg? What's like the main finish that you do? Other than that, staying down on the mat, good answer. Run right the corner, right? So the reason Shin Wizard got developed, because if I do the normal finish that everybody's done for a long time and run the corner, watch what happens to my shoulder and head. Where did my shoulder go? Out, where did my head go? Out, same problem we had in our crackdown, right? The exact same problem. So let's think about it a little different and beat everything this guy wants to do in his shin wizard. One of our coaches, Randy Pugh, he's one of the best shin wizard wrestlers I've ever seen. He talks to our guys about wanting to stay as heavy as he can on this leg. Put the weight back to your foot, don't pull your foot up. So we just like go the opposite. We took what Randy does to kill everybody and try and take that away from him. So as soon as I feel shin wizard, I know I can't run the corner. His forearm blocks me out. I can't get shoulder deep behind his thigh. So if I run the corner, I'm just gonna break bad position. I've gotta come back out front. So I'm running the corner, I feel shin wizard, my knee's gonna slide in and I'm gonna dig my head under his chest. You feel how you can't get pressure on your wizard now, right? He's trying to go through my back, my shoulders, my lats, things that I work out hard, right? He's not gonna beat me in this position. And remember, he wants to get weight on all of this, correct? So I want to take weight off. My left hand is going to reach in. It's going to pull his knee up. Now it's hard for him to get weight on this shin. But really, guys, I'm not pulling up as much as I'm driving into it. See how I'm driving with my feet, driving my shoulder and head into position? And now here's the part that's a little bit different. Forever and ever and ever, we want to get this arm deep, right? Shoulder deep behind. He's changed his defense. Shin wizard, he wants this arm deep, especially if he's looking Jonesy too. The deeper my arm gets, the better that gets. So let's do the opposite. Just think logically. Do the opposite of what he wants. Focus. I want to shorten this arm up. So my elbow, my triceps, going to go back and attack his wizard. Everybody get behind me. Hustle. So still pressure in, head and shoulder. Instead of being shoulder deep, I'm going to shallow my elbow up. Once again, I'm going to thumb block his sock. When I say thumb block, this is what I mean. I make a B with my thumb and index fingers. So I'm going to go back and I thumb block his sock. Get that thing. You got a good shin lizard? There you go. When I thumb block his sock and start driving in, what happens to his shin lizard? It's gone. Where's his leg? Straight. What kind of defense does he have when he has a straight leg? None. Terrible. Bad. Awful. Get his leg straight on all your finishes, you'll stop his scrambling. That's kind of the concept we're really working with right now. We're trying to do it in every position. Straighten his leg. So by blocking and driving, I get his leg straight. Now, however you want to finish your single, run, circle, shelf, chase far leg, limp arm out, I'm going to leave that guys up to you and the coaches that work with you every day. But again, as far as beating a shin wizard, to me, this is how you do it. 2019, this is one of the main ways you got to finish your single leg. So I'm in on my single. I've hit a great inside reach, push, pull, ham fight, and caught a great angle. I can't run the corner. My head, shoulder pop out. I did, head back underneath. Can't wait off that shin by pulling and driving. Elbow slides back. You might have to work a little bit to find that calf, find the sock, and then drive into it to straighten that leg out. Do I even need to work for my finish? No. I got my score. How much pressure's in on that leg? Look at him. He's like, oh, it's not because I'm fat. It's not because I'm strong. It's because I've got good position. I might be a little fat. I might be a little bit.
but it's also good positioning. Does anybody have any more questions about that? Ready to go give it a shot? Let's go!